Yeah, in the case, what we are talking about is the FBI fake app was called Anum. Uh, Coffeezilla is on YouTube. You can you can go and find a video about this story. Um, I'm not going to mention the name of my application, like the company I work for. Not again because I'm worried or I'm scared. You can actually quite easily find this yourself if you go on. Excuse me, if you go online, you're going to have no problem finding this story because there aren't ten stories like this. Um, but I'm doing it just just again. I don't want to give uh, something to the Americans that 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 will that will hurt uh, people. Uh, trying to push freedom. So I'm hoping that for the audience, they can appreciate the story without the, the specifics. But Anom is the fake FBI app. I don't believe it looked very much like our app. Um, but what, what what's fascinating to me is that the FBI can create this fake privacy tool, go to people and say, hey, this is a really secure privacy tool. And go to criminals, right? So they, they, they went to a lot of people but a lot of them, they purposefully wanted to give to criminals. It's interesting that 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 the government has this right to go to criminals and lie to them and give them the, these tools to help them communicate, to like spy on them. Uh, something about this is a little bit, it's a little bit weird to me. In particular, I ask myself, are there actual real journalists and real celebrities and lawyers and, and people who actually needed privacy for good reason, you know, or even a criminal who is just talking to his wife, right? He's doing a completely legitimate thing. And this communication between him and his wife is completely, that, that privacy is gone because of the greater good of taking down the drug war. Um, to me, this is, something about this is very uh, weird. And it, it makes me think to myself, like, how do I know if Signal isn't that? You know, how do I know if Signal isn't a government-created thing to spy on us? 